This is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the sensible heat equation for water, which is Q equals 500 GPM times delta T. That's also a very good rule of thumb. Okay, so let's get into it. So to begin with, we're going to start with the formula. So Q equals 500 times GPM times delta T. Okay. So everything starts with the sensible, original sensible heat equation, which is Q equals mass times a specific heat at constant pressure times delta T. Okay? So as we made up notice in the previous sensible heat equations for air, we had that density equals mass divided by volume. Therefore, mass equals density times volume. So what we do is we replace this variable mass in this equation, in the original sensible heat equation. Here you go. So now we're going to have Q equals mass. But mass is going to be, I'm going to put this in red. So that's going to be density times volume and then a specific heat times delta T. Okay? So now, uh, since we have this equation, what we actually have is Q, okay, Q is units are BTUs. Volume units are cubic feet. Okay, so what we usually need for this equation, for the sensible heat equation, is actually BTUs per hour. So in other words, we need the variable divided by time. So if we want to do that, we usually put a dot in here, a dot and a dot, and that means that's divided by time. It could be minutes, seconds, in this case it's going to be hour. And of course, is this, if this is hour, this has to be hour. Or if this is minute, this is going to be minute. So, now <clears throat> my equation is going to be the following if we do that. So that's going to be Q equals the same density times volume times CP times delta T. But we're not going to forget about the dot. The dot is in red. So there we go. So again, uh, so the dot is going to be saying that this Q is going to be BTUs per hour and the volume is going to be cubic feet. But cubic feet per hour. So to make it more explicit, I'm going to put the units down here. So the units are going to be the following. The units are going to be, uh, let's see, Q. So Q is heat, but since it has the dot, it's going to be BTUs per hour. And then the density, the density is going to be in pounds per cubic feet, okay, times uh, volume. So the volume is going to be cubic feet cubic feet, but divided by hour. Why is it divided by hour, a unit of time? Because of the dot and the dot. So if I'm using a dot in here, I need to use a dot in here, okay? So now what is the specific heat at constant pressure units? That's going to be BTUs divided by uh, pounds times Fahrenheit. And what are the units of delta T, of delta temperature? That's going to be in Fahrenheit, see? So the units are consistent because, in other words, if we cancel everything, so we have in here pounds per pounds go away, cubic feet with cubic feet go away, Fahrenheit with Fahrenheit go away, and we have BTUs per hour, BTUs per hour, so this is consistent. So that, those are the units that we have for the sensible heat equation. This is the sensible heat equation original, sensible heat. That's the original sensible heat equation. Okay, so what we're trying to do is trying to convert the sensible heat equation and to make it a rule of thumb so we can have this formula, 500 GPM times delta T, which is sensible heat equation for water, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to have to uh, utilize conversions, okay? So for conversions, we're going to need the following conversion factors, okay? So for water, what we have for water, the density of water at normal conditions, it's going to be 62.4, and that's going to be pounds per cubic feet, 
okay? And one cubic feet of water is going to be equal to 7.4 gallons, okay? So in order to obtain this factor, you can easily go to Google and find what is the density, uh, the standard conditions, or what is what is one cubic feet of water, how many gallons is it? So it's pretty much conversion factors. So now in order to obtain the formula, what we're going to do is we're going to be consistent on these units. I'm going to put in here units, the units, okay? So this is going to be BTUs per hour, BTUs per hour, see, the units equals to okay so the unit is BTUs per hour but what is density what is density the density of water is going to be 62.4 there we go 62.4 cubic feet times or oh, divided by pounds divided by cubic feet times now here is the variable that I want to get the variable that I want to obtain is GPM which is gallons per minute Okay, that's the variable that I'm including in this, in this place. Okay, in other words, in other words, we're showing that because we want to use GPM instead of that. So since we're putting gallons per minute, we're going to continue with the conversion factors. So we're going to have in here uh, one cubic feet, okay, equals 7.48 gallons. Okay, there you go. And then, since this is minutes, we want to obtain everything in hours, not in minutes. So if it's going to be in minutes, that's going to make it 60 minutes. It's one hour. And then, all of this pretty much is the volume. Okay? All of this is pretty much the density. We need the CP now, we need CP, which is a specific heat at constant pressure for water. I forgot to put in here that variable. Okay, CP for water is going to be 1 BTU divided by pound Fahrenheit. Okay, that's everything of this is for water. So in other words, I'm going to have in here 1 BTU divided by pound Fahrenheit and finally we have the Delta T but Delta T is in Fahrenheit okay so now we are very consistent on the units because if we have inherited you have Fahrenheit see cubic feet with cubic feet goes away pounds with pounds Fahrenheit with Fahrenheit and then gallons with gallons minutes with minutes and finally we're gonna have BTUs per hour okay so finally, if we do the math with these numbers, what we're, what we're going to have, okay, this is actually Q, right? So what we have in here is Q. There we go. And we, what we have in here is temperature, delta T. Okay? So delta T and we have in here CP. There you go. It's the same formula. We're just playing with the units. So in other words, Q... Is going to be equal to 62.4 okay times 60 divided by 7.48 okay times we're gonna put this in green GPM okay that's the variable that we included times Delta T okay so Q equals 500 times GPM times delta T. So that's where the sensible heat equation comes from. We're going to put this in a rectangle right here, like this. Okay, so we're going to put in here sensible heat equation. So that's the sensible heat equation. Heat equation for water see for water and that's very a very good rule of thumb rule of thumb and the applications are very easy because say that you have an air handler say you have the fan you have your heating coil in here heating coil heating coil
coil and since it's an air handler you're gonna have this all in a box see you have everything in a box and then you're gonna have in here your temperatures which is the following you're gonna have in here in and out so this is going to be entering water temperature you're going to have your leaving water temperature and it's very easy to measure the delta t the delta t is going to be the entering water temperature minus the leaving water temperature so whatever goes in whatever goes out you have the delta t and you're going to be able to measure the gpm or the sensible heat which is in btus per hour all right so i hope this video i hope you find this video very helpful and if you did uh, hit the thumbs up and share and subscribe all right thank you have a good day